all fun. And dynamitanium is a thing. Now. <laughs> Confirmed. <laughs> Look at us. This is the panel now. <laughs> yes. Welcome to the panel. We're Stop getting off on soon. We're getting off on We're getting off on next. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Yeah. Off from the German Oh, oh cool. Wolf. Cool. Cool. <laughs> I'll move back. You almost finished it. Here we go. All right, right. ready to sit. All right, ready to sit. Can I grab my beer? <laughs> right. <laughs> So this is hey there. Hello. So who Hello. are you? Tell the world. Welcome. <laughs> Tell the world. The British and Who are you and what do you do? Hello world. My name is Aaron Roberts. Uh, I know. Wait a minute. My name is Ol. <laughs> I'm a community manager for uh, CIG in Frankfurt, uh, German office. So nice to meet you guys. Hi, Mom. Man from <laughs> Hi, Mom. <laughs> so what does the community manager for the Frankfurt office do? Like, what is your day-to-day? -day? My day-to-day? -day. Um, <laughs> so there's another... <laughs> well, what exactly do you I'm do? only watching YouTube videos and Twitch streams, so right? Uh, so, no, actually, there's a lot of reporting. Um, there's a lot of, like, social media and, mm. like, you know, um, interaction with the backers and with the community. Um, trying to keep track of everything that you guys put out. Right. Uh, so we get a feel for, like, you know... Um, a lot. It's actually a lot of content. But to be fair, we're putting a lot of like uh, content out ourselves, right? Like every week there's a couple of videos on the yeah. YouTube channel. You do? Yeah, we do. <laughs> so check it out. Um, Shit, yeah, Robert Space in the Streets. Yeah. Um, <laughs> short plug. Uh, anyway. Sure. How dare um, you plug the game yeah, that we're streaming wait, about? Wait, God damn it. By the way, there's a sale going on. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> there is actually. 100 I. Uh, until the end of the month. Um, so it's yeah, not a salary, uh, we it's got a promotion. Yeah. Kind of. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Say the right you lured me into the trap. Um, anyway, uh, apart from that, um, we do a lot of events, um, real life events, and also like um, some events like in game and screenshot contests, uh, user generated content, stuff like that. Um, and yeah, that's, so, that's about like the day to day basis. So while uh, Disco Land. Spectrum of. of yeah, course, yeah. Totally forgot about Spectrum. <laughs> oh, you missed that one. Damn it. Yeah. Yeah, so, um, so while Disco Lando is kind of the face of uh, the, vi the video and the media, yeah. you and Tyler Squared work more behind the scenes in a less visible kind of like. Range, right, you know. I mean, we did have um, different shows like back in the days, um, like. Um, what was it called? Citizens of the Stars. Right. Where like the community managers were like put in front of the camera and yeah, like, you know. Yeah. Um, um, but we, we kind of nixed that. Um, so now we do have a different concept for shows, like Calling All Devs, yeah. uh, ATV, RTV, and yeah, Jared's taken taken over. Uh, he's, uh, he's the front-facing uh, What's person. that like? Don't want no one's listening. You can, yeah. you can tell us what <laughs> tell it's like. Exactly what you feel like. <laughs> tell you what you think. Do you miss oh. the camera? You put a camera in my face, right? <laughs> There's no camera every There's now and no then. There's no cameras here. Ignore that. <laughs> um, no, I mean, I don't miss it, uh, but I, like, I mean, I don't have an issue being in front of a camera. It's right. all good, right? Yeah. Um, and I mean, Jared is doing an awesome job, so why take it away? And yeah. like, you know, yeah, sure. Let's 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 <laughs> let's get the guy in front of the camera who's who's best with it. How, how do you find coming to these events where you don't actually have to worry about the running yeah. of it? <laughs> it's uh, it's different, right? I mean, there's, there was some, some some delays, so we're kind of used to that from yep. the Star Citizen events. That we <laughs> they ran they, in, they ran in the past. expect it now. It's not everyone expecting that delayed. now. Yeah. 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 Exactly. They say imitation is the best form of flattery. Uh, yeah. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> but it's something like that. <laughs> but I like those kind of events because you know you get to know the guys that you know from Spectrum and like that you see on Twitch, like you guys. Um, and like you know, networking and talking to people and actually getting a feel for what the community is, um, what the community likes or what they don't like, because there's always something that um, one can complain about. And as long as you know, it is uh, constructive criticism, yeah. we're fine with that. There's something we, we can take out of those conversations and then maybe change it for the be for the better. But that's the difference about this game compared to any other game: is the fact that the devs come to the events and they, they take note of what we're saying. Yeah. It's like it's not just a game being developed by the developers, it's a game being developed by the community. Yeah. Which I think is what makes it so special and so important. And the fact that you guys they actually employ people to engage with the community says everything. And I mean could have found someone better to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> You're right about that. So uh, What's your uh, Twitter handle? My Twitter handle is um, H Nitro. N E I G H T R. I, I had to get. I was texting you the other day, and I had to keep checking. Hang on, have I got the right person? Because it's the, <laughs> yeah, it comes well, up as your no, name it's afterwards. Not. You say, it is. Yeah. It's my Twitter handle. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. It never, it I changed Ulf. the name on it. It's now Ulf C I G. 
you changed uh, the name? No, no. no the, the name. Your handle. The Twitter handle. Name and handle. Oh, yeah, yeah. God, yeah. This is how Twitter works. You have a name. Uh, you can change that a lot of times. You're talking but the to handle, a professional here. He but knows the handle is always going to be the same. No. And like I chose that one like back in the day. It's like, I don't know, when I started it. And it's stuck. You're stuck with it. You can't change it anymore, right? So, so chat want to know what's the date for CitizenCon? What's the date? Yeah. Uh, we don't have a set Damn. date yet. Uh, no. <laughs> oh, I tried to trip him up, but it's still no, right. yeah. <laughs> When uh, question. It's not, yeah, it's a when question. It's we can't answer question. those kind of questions. Yeah. But I mean, it's always going to be around October. Um, I think the last CitizenCon last year, uh, the one in Frankfurt, it was like 27th of October. It was a great show. Thanks for it was amazing. Yeah. Is, is the plan, because um, that was a little bit of a different format with everything out, the, kind of like this with everything out the front, yeah. and then the, is that the plan again? Or yeah, we tried or something or? new last year with all the panels, uh, like, and like a filling, a filling out a full day, yeah. right? Because beforehand it was like, um, you know, you came in and then like there was a big keynote and that's about it. Yeah. yeah. So now we try to have a new concept, or we try to have a new concept where we fill a full day with panels and like talking to that from different stations where we can try out the game and stuff. It's a great idea because it feels and like you're getting more. Right. The feedback, the feedback that we got was like mostly positive, so yeah. I don't think we're going to change the format that much. I mean, we're going to take all the feedback that we got and like try to make things better, but like the overall format of the CitizenCon should be the same. Good, yeah. yeah. And but are you going? Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Fingers crossed. Chris? I only heard good things about like, you know, Austin and Barbecue, and yeah. they always have, oh, yeah. uh, they have a, like a good craft beer scene as well. Mm. Um, so yeah, I would enjoy that. <laughs> it would totally be there. They have yeah. a lot of bar finishes, don't they, Austin? Yeah, like I think there's, there's going to be one, uh, either it was last weekend or this weekend, or like I checked Bar Citizen, not SC, um, and uh, yeah, there was an awesome Bar Citizen, um, or is, so check out the website if you're an Austin. Yeah, what's, what's <laughs> maybe there's a Bar Citizen coming up. So did you enjoy the Bar Citizen yesterday? I did. I mean, like it was a... Um, I mean, it was a busy day yesterday, yeah. so I arrived on Thursday and then went to the Derby office to do like a subscriber store. Mm -hmm. um, we also did some filming for A2B, so watch out on uh, our YouTube channel. Um, and yeah, so we came back at around 7 or half 8, uh, half 7, sorry. And then after that we just went straight to the Bar Citizen, right. so yeah, but we enjoyed a couple of pints, right? Uh, <laughs> a couple? I'm trying to get chat, like, uh, once you come to these things, because obviously, like, uh, these, these events are great. And streaming them live on Twitch is great as well. Yeah. But, it's of course, so the it's them coming to the events as well that also keep the events alive and get us with the, de with the devs in the first place, right? Yeah, no, yeah. damn right, yeah. So, yeah, make sure if there's, like, a bar citizen in the area that you actually attend it, right? Um, check barcitizen.sc. That's the website where all the bar citizens are listed. Uh, we also started putting like all the events uh, into our weekly newsletter, um, so check that one out as well. Like I, I know there's a lot of people who don't give a fuck about newsletters, uh, yeah. but um, actually there's some good They're information important. in there. There's, yeah. there's some good information in it, and especially for events, like all the events that are coming up in the week or the next weekend, we put them in there so you can check it out and see if you can maybe attend our services. Yeah, no, no. Right. Like, getting to these events, it's not just the backers that go to them. It's the devs, you love to have a drink, Regardless of meeting people, yeah, he has to. He's community manager, so he has we, to go to the bar citizens oh, no. and he has to drink. It's, it's such a hard life. It's like, well, we're oh, trying, drink pie, we're oh. trying to attend as many bar citizens as we can, right? Like yeah, as, as long as they're in the area, and sometimes we even travel to attend one of them. Was that part of the interview process? So how well so, can you I'm handle your drink? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it should have been. Yeah, but they were lucky. <laughs> it will be from now on. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean there's there's other drinks. There's, Beer. Like you can also have a coke, enjoy, uh, I don't know, lemonade or something like that. You're in the UK. <laughs> <laughs> <So> what? <laughs> you want that? We don't know what they are, but you know or a right? coffee or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> whatever your Twitter handle is anymore, you know. Just get out of here. It's all right till you said that. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> no, I do enjoy yeah. um, a beer every now and then. Mm. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, I'm doing craft beer myself at home, right? Oh, yeah. Brewing myself. Oh, okay, so we've got What's another. your favorite craft beer? IPAs. Are you going to craft some of Brian's hops? This sounds so wrong. Brian's hops? <laughs> Brian's hops. It does sell right. We had Brian yeah, on yeah, earlier. Yeah, we still about his hops, hops, okay? Yeah, yeah. So it's not he that random. Hops. But he's growing his own hops, yeah. So without too many spoilers, do you have any plans for the future? I'm sure you do. For like... Uh, for, for myself? Not for yourself, but for a future... No, we don't care about yourself. Oh, God, don't <laughs> <laughs> for, for future, uh, For future community involvement. Um, yeah, we. I mean... Um, we're gonna start ramping up um, those kind of events that I was talking about. Mm -hmm. um, so we're trying to uh, put more of those out because, like the ones that we did uh, in the past, uh, past couple of months, they got very positive feedback. So we're trying to iterate and like get 
more events and like better events as well. Right. Right. Uh, and also like uh, for Spectrum, we now have uh, a couple of more moderators on board um, that might help with uh, community engagement as well. Um, and yeah, ourselves, um, we put out the roadmap and everything. So we're trying to be more transparent and also in Spectrum, um, we're trying our best to be active there as well. I mean, it's not always going to be possible because there's a lot of other stuff going on. Um, meetings and things like that, uh, but yeah. I think, um, well, from doing podcasts and things, a lot of backers and that I do appreciate more so the feedback they get on Spectrum and things like that, because, I mean, there's sometimes information we, a lot of people obviously are asking why this is like that, and yeah, you yeah. don't get a lot of feedback at times, you doesn't feel like you're getting so much feedback from CIG, but right. um, that is one of the things I think a lot of people do say is that on Spectrum, things like that, get, it's, it's nice to see a little bit more instant replies, yeah. and, and just like, just for little things that are not too difficult to qualify, so little, yeah, we know this is there, or whatever, and yeah, I think yeah. that helps a lot. Um, just like, unfortunately, you don't we don't have like a I don't know like a checkbox like every time like a I don't know an employee of CIG reads a reads into that yes but we're like we're like scanning spectrum like on a daily basis yeah. right yeah. so everything that's going to be put up there we actually take note of it yeah um, it's not going to be like we always you know um, put in the reply saying hey thanks for that feedback yeah, you can't yeah, because can't like there's so many stuff going yeah, on yeah. like it's not only spectrum there's also like you know twitter and facebook we get input from there as well but and reddit of course yeah, it's more a case of when there's like very popular threads with loads yeah. of things then you can jump in and just yeah. like straighten something out or whatever it's yeah uh, we're trying to yeah. make that happen and, uh, and I, I mean yeah. we, get, we got the dev tracker so every time like one of us uh, says anything says anything everyone else thing checks it to make sure they said the right thing <laughs> it's also a good tool for ourselves yes. right <laughs> so uh, we have a lot of content creators as well in the community right so um, how much of uh, like the con I mean we have the dev spotlight and that kind of stuff how much do, do, does their content actually like um, circulate throughout uh, the offices? Do you know? Oh, every time uh, we see like a good video or a clip of fan art, mm. um, we're gonna send it around the office. Right. <laughs> and so we do. We would send out like an email to uh, maybe everyone or like certain group because like I don't know someone uh, put up like a I don't know a thread thanking the audio team, right? We right. send it to the audio team. Hey, look. Uh, the guys are actually appreciating what you're doing, mm. and if there's like an awesome video, uh, cinematic or whatever, uh, we would like you know send it to the whole company and everyone freak out how amazing that video is. Right. Because like let's be honest, there's like so much content out there, and, like the community managers are actually the guys who have to or like enjoy uh, scrolling through YouTube and like, to <laughs> digging it up. Right. And uh, we got it. We we are making sure that everyone in the company sees it. Um, we do send it in our Skype chats and our, as I said, email threads. And, yeah. Also, like we do like weekly reports, mm -hmm. um, and like we do have a UGC section like user-generated content where we highlight all the stuff. And uh, in Spectrum, in the Spectrum Hub, um, there's also um, like the staff fix. Right. So every time you get staff fix, you will actually know that um, we appreciate that We've content. Seen it yeah, yeah. That. yeah. So that's that's how it is. Right. Yeah. So, but so basically, I'm just trying to like uh, to, to get the word out to the community that even if they don't see that their work being put in like uh, you know reverse the verse and stuff, you are paying attention to it yeah. and uh, you do appreciate like, it. Like I mean, yeah. even if, even if you don't make it as the uh, MVP in reverse, there can only be like two. There can only be like yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it's one in the beginning and one in the end. Yeah. Um, yeah, but like you know. Just like getting those kind of videos in, you would have to scroll through all the videos that yeah. didn't make MVP. And like, um, so we do have like a big list of all the stuff, and then we we're picking the top content and make them MVP. But even if it doesn't make MVP, it's still um, very much appreciated. Like everything uh, that you guys put out, um, thank you very much for that. All right. You're, you're welcome. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cheers, <man. laughs> good. All right. Thank you all for right. joining us. All right. Yeah. Thanks for having me. And pleasure to have that. <laughs> I think right. we're going over to a dev panel. Yeah, there's a new, dev, new panel going on because yeah. everyone left. Yeah, <laughs> everybody's left. Is there a panel now? Yes. Uh, I guess so because everyone just yep. walked in. Right. Okay. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Thank you very much for joining us.